In June 1999, a forest stranger, Gulam Muhammad, was forcibly picked up from his Kangan home by an infamous renegade, Nazir Gura. Gunshots were heard, and hours later, the ranger was found dead on a road barely half a kilometer from his house. Nazir Gura, who had been a militant before joining the Ikhwan in 1995, had been smuggling timber from the forests in the area. The renegade had been extorting timber from Gulam Muhammad as well, but on that June night, the ranger refused any more timber to him and was killed. Gulam Muhammad's son, Abdul Qayyum, reveals that his father had filed an FIR in the local police station against timber smuggling in the area a couple of days before his death. Although the FIR did not name anyone in particular, Qayyum states, that someone from the police department tipped Nazir Gura off about this FIR and Nazir, fearing that his name would come up in the case, decided to eliminate the ranger who could have brought down the timber smuggling nexus in the area. Six days after his father was killed, Abdul Qayyum went to Nazir Gura asking questions. But the renegade threatened him and even came to his home to kill him too. Kayum had to go into hiding for three years to save his life. In the meantime, Gulam Muhammad's brother Abdul Ahad filed an FIR in the Kangan police station. But instead of investigating the case, the police closed it without even bothering to inform Abdul Ahad about it. Gulam Muhammad's family has been subject to harassment ever since, so much so that they decided not to follow the case. The case has been closed, the family lives in fear, forests are being looted to barren wastelands, and Nazir Gura is a free man.